Guys, my room is so messy. I need to clean it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But hello, everyone. My name is Sunny. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video. We're gonna go to the bookstore once again. But this time, not to the bookstore bookstore. We're gonna go to the used bookstore. AKA, I'm just gonna go thrifting today. And I wanted to check out the book section too. Because you guys know, looking at like the old like classic you know, I feel like the thrift store has like so many pretty ones and they're dirt cheap you guys and they're so pretty So i'm gonna go today and see if there's anything, you know, hopefully there's not a lot of people there Otherwise i'm gonna get so shy and I can't vlog in front of people in public So yeah, anyway, i'm just gonna get ready but I did want to show you guys something very very exciting a new merit beauty product if you guys know I love merit beauty. I I love them. They're super minimalist If you know me, it's exactly my type of beauty line I use their product all the time and you guys know I'm very minimalist Merit Beauty is actually expanding into skincare now and they sent over their great skin instant glow serum for me to try out clean vegan cruelty free love that this is a lightweight by phase serum for hydrating your skin and giving you that like glass skin look that's like super clean girl vibes right now you know what i mean i love the clean girl vibe so you can put it on like just on your bare skin you can put it on as like to like prep your skin for makeup whatever you want i don't do skin makeup and so i'm just gonna put on my bare skin and it makes your skin calmer brighter and more even over time yeah designed as a base for the minimalist or for bare skin anyway this is what it looks like this is what the serum looks like great skin instant glow serum very pretty this is a weightless formula that absorbs quickly into the skin with zero residue Eliminated 73 ingredients that are clean but potentially acne triggering Dermatologist tested fragrance free four types of hyaluronic acid Caffeine rich cacao seed extract Japanese gold thread root Oh my gosh Wow Okay it's really packed to the brim I'll say that So I'm gonna try this for the first time with you guys I'll Probably put my hair back They don't recommend using it over makeup Because it might erase some of your makeup So yeah just do it before your makeup This is what the top looks like It's a little pump situation I'm gonna do Oh, oh okay just did two pumps Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It feels so nice. Oh my gosh. It feels so nice. Oh my this is a game changer I don't really have like dry skin. I don't have oily skin. I think I have like the average one. Oh my god <laughs> Wow, I really see that glass skin vibe. I love that vibe Okay, there you go. I feel like I can I can see the difference I think and I can feel the difference. It feels so nice in this harsh Canadian winter air Pop that back on. Okay, definitely adding this as a part of my like skincare daily I'm just gonna add Right over here where I get ready in the morning. I love that. I literally love that Oh, I will have the link. Oh my god. I'll have the link for everything in my description Go and check it out. Oh my gosh, wait, my skin feels so great. All orders over 40 US dollars are free If you order your first shipment, it comes with like the signature bag this little bag and yeah, check the link in my description to check that out and all the other products out because I swear by them I love them so much. It is exactly in my alley. All done. That's <laughs> That is literally it And that's about it now. I'll see you at the store walking to the bus now And I left so substantially early that I can leisurely walk to the bus stop. What a treat. What a treat I'm walking on this desire path. I'm listening to an audiobook, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is I'm gonna keep it a secret because I need to film my wrap-up soon my monthly wrap-up probably talk about it there but i just started it it's in my ears gosh it's hard to talk and listen to an audiobook at the same time we're here okay we're finally in the book section here is what it looks like look what i found i found the quote print oh my gosh it's missing city of ashes but audited one of the twilight books eclipse oh my gosh wait i love the first book in the series Oh my gosh, it's the movie cover. Oh my gosh, it's the first selection book. Throwback. First Hunger Games book throwback. Oh my gosh, one of the Peregrine. Oh my gosh. Wait, it's the Demon King. I've been trying to read this book for ages. No, wait, I did read the book. I read the first book. I already read this. I'm reading the second book right now. Nice, I really liked it. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. And oh guys, I found the first Cinder book. I kind of want this. This is my reread book. The sun is also star. It's on Clockwork Angel, obviously. I actually have a copy of this book, but I share it with my sisters. I'm scared to like annotate it even though I really want to. I've been considered once like actually buying one just for myself to annotate. This one is six doll hairs. Should I do it? Buy it just to annotate it? Okay, I'm in the other side of the shelf. I need to lug around these big, thick winter jackets. Oh my gosh, my arms about to fall off. Oh my gosh, I need to like retreat to somewhere. I saw this book, the last thing he told me. One of the Reese Witherspoon book club books. Sorry, I have to do this with one hand. Oh, this book, The Art of Racing in the Rain, which I only know because it became a movie with Milo Ventimiglia in it, aka Just from Gilmore Girls. Here's my favorite section with all the classics. And I saw this one, which is so pretty. I have like these copies in like the Jane Austen books, but I read Jane Eyre in grade 12. They have Mansfield Park that I'll buy because that's the only Jane Austen one that I'm missing. Oh my gosh, these big thick jackets. Oh my gosh, A Tale of Two Cities. I wanted to read this just because Tessa and Will 
reference it so much. Guys, I just want you to see what I look like right now. In the store right now, literally holding on for dear life. And then trying to pull and hold all these books. I found this copy of Oliver Twist, which I might also want to read. I'm trying to get through Dickens' books after I read Great Expectations. Now we have the romance section. But I did want to show you this book, just because the cover was so cool. No idea what it's about. I'm not sure if I want to read it, but the cover is so pretty, I think. Update everyone. I got a cart. Don't want me to not just do that from the very beginning. Now my arms aren't gonna fall off. Hey, some lady just came up to me and gave me this random coupon. I don't know who she was. Thanks. I found this big, like oversized ski jacket. I literally feel like Mortimer from that Robert Munch book. There was a man behind me. I just ran away from him. Okay, now I'm just wandering through aisles, avoiding people. <laughs> Guys, help. Why am I so in love with this random big ski jacket? Oh, I just know that it'll keep me toasty warm when I'm walking home from dance at like 4 a.m. in the morning. It's literally huge. I feel like I wouldn't waddle around in this. Here, I literally bought like the two heaviest jackets I've ever felt in my entire life. Don't know how I'm even gonna move out. <laughs> I'll see you at home. I'm back. It's the next day. Sorry, I came back. Didn't have time to like actually wrap this up. We had a Halloween party. Um, but I'm back now and I'm just gonna wrap up this video and show you guys everything that I got. I only got one book, but anyway. So I showed you guys all the books. The one book that I did actually get for six doll hairs. Well, no, it wasn't even six doll hairs. It was five doll hairs. It's Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Really random because I don't even talk about this series. Oh my gosh, it's like special bonus short story and stuff. But fun fact is that I read book. I think I read the first three books in the series. Or someone put a tab in there. Um, yeah, I read the first three books in the series like when it came out or a little bit after like right when it was hyped because it's a really old series um but book especially the first one is one of those books that i reread like snippets of just as like a comfort and i remember like that this was one of like the first books that i read that had like an asian character in it and so to this day i still go back and i find comfort in rereading it and also the main character love interest prince kai um the only prince love interest i can get behind he's really sweet like he's my type kind of sweet which is also i think the reason why i like it and so i read it and i'm like yeah love that i thought it'd be fun to have the book so i can highlight like the exact sections that I like to reread and then I can just reread this. I will only buy physical books when it has like sentimental value to me. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, so much nostalgia. Anyway, that's the only book that I got. The other things that I got are not book related so I don't know if anyone cares but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. Um, I got this mirror. I was actually looking for one of these and I was looking on Amazon a while back actually too to have it on my desk because this is where my window is. I didn't end up buying it because I was like maybe I can find one for cheaper and I did. This was like two doll hairs. And the other two things that I got were two of the heaviest jackets I've ever felt in my entire life. I spent last night laundering them and I'm so excited for them but they're so heavy. I'm gonna be so set for the harsh Canadian winter. The first one is the one that makes me feel like I'm in that Robert Munch book. It's this big, thick, like, ski jacket, like, winter windbreaker type situation. I like it because of the color and the hood's removable. I do have a winter jacket. A lot of my sweaters are very oversized sweaters. Um, they don't fit under that jacket. So I thought with those ones, I would wear it with this jacket. Oh my gosh, so toasty warm. I like how oversized it is. And it's so thick and good quality, but it was so cheap. And then the next jacket I've been looking for, I feel like everyone always looks for, like, the perfect leather jacket. Jacket. So I finally found this one. I've been looking for ages. I finally found it. It was like the perfect oversized fit. My outfit's so bad right now. These are my pajamas. But I obviously wouldn't wear it with this. Oh, this jacket is so heavy. It was breaking my arm. Such thick, good quality. I would consider this to be a successful trip. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Those jackets take up so much real estate in my closet. Okay. Anyways, coming off for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying a good school year. Be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Follow me on all my socials. They're all linked in the description. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.